Hey everyone, it's Connor here with Chrome Designs and thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'll be teaching you this color isolation tool in Photoshop. Now this can be done by just using the hue and saturation which falls under adjustment layers. Just one is needed to bring out this outcome. It's, I suppose it's like keying in, in some respects. But let's head on over and I'll show you how it's done. So this is what my raw image looks like. Uh, the sky is quite luminous as well as the jacket, but I'm just going to pick out the orange and the yellow here. So the first things first, you want to go to Hue and Saturation. Now you can either help go on over to this tab just here, wherever that might not be displayed. So just go down to the divided circle, click and hold, go to Hue and Saturation. Now this will do nothing at first. What you want to do is you want to go to Saturation, and you want to go to... You can either go to minus 100 to give it a pure black and white feel, or personally I like to go to minus 90 just to give it a little something extra. Then once you've done this, you want to hide that layer so it's visible, so I'll return back to its original state, and select the image. Now you want to go and head over to select and go to color range. Now you see this brings up a black box. Now what's shown in black will be what's in black and white. But what's displayed as white will be what's in colour. So you see here there's a little bit of white which, which should be the jacket. But if I go on over and click on the jacket, you'll see that that will be in black and white. So you can either go clicking around and you could go to fuzziness and like drag it up. Maybe go to 40. Control Z. Okay, my bad. Go back to colour range. If I maybe just go to 60. And you'll see it's picking up a bit of a ski there. The fuzziness is, is like the tolerance. It says how um, how sensitive it is. So if I maybe just go to maybe 70, maybe even 80, you see there you go, it starts to pick up the ski. And I might be going to 100, not 810, sorry. Oh my god, 100. There we go, I think that, that'll probably be alright for now. And just hit OK. And you see it bring up these black and white margins here. Then if you review the hue and saturation layer by click on the eye icon again and select the hue and saturation layer, you can then head on over and go to the brush, which is found just there. Now, when using the brush, you want to make sure your foreground color, that's the front of the two squares together, is on black. There we go. And then it doesn't really matter what size because you can't go, you can't go off. That is not fully black. There we go. And just start to click and just fill in all the different areas. I'm not sure what what's been going wrong recently, but a couple of times I've been trying to film this and um, and my mouse has been it's been it's been acting weird. For example, it won't let me use the sliders here, and it won't let me just click once on that where it does when I'm not doing a tutorial. Oh, I don't know. Well, anyway, that is how you do it. Oh, I'll get off the margin view here, and that is what it, the final outcome will look like. You see, it's picked up the back end of the skis with the boots and the and the front end of the skis as well as the jacket, and the gloves, and a bit of the goggles there. So that's how you do it. You can then change the saturation later if you feel if you want to change it. But yeah, you, that's all down to personal preferences. Uh, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.